What are we doing? So, I, I just asked you some questions. Oh, okay. You're asking me questions. Yeah, well, oh. Like this. D'accord. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an interview. <laughs> yeah. No. I, well, one question I have is, uh, well, because it's actual. Uh, when you have, uh, if you, when you you have won so many races, um, and you must be confident before every race. Like right now, I know I did the training right and everything, but uh, yeah, I, I sometimes have still some doubts. How do you handle that? Do you, ha do you know that? Uh, or oh, everyone. I think everyone has those. I'm. I'm a nervous wreck. I don't. I just don't outwardly like to show that. I've always um, believed that the way to the key to success is creating fear and doubt in, in your competitors because we all have the same insecurities. You know, where every great athlete I've ever met is insecure. You know, the great Simon Lessing, uh, Greg Welsh. Yeah. When you meet, when you get to know them, they're insecure about their ability, and I'm just as I'm very insecure about my ability because you know. You know your weaknesses better than anybody else, so I um, I just really try and stay relaxed and um, and and try and back the positive things you've had, your positive training, and know that you know when it comes down to it, it's just a, a matter of being stubborn and suffering, you know, and and I know I control that, so that's true. You know, I have absolute control over that, so there's nothing to win this, win any race. You need to be prepared to suffer, and uh, if I quit, I quit. I can, it's the only thing in my life I really control, so there's no use getting nervous about it. So I, when I hop on that bike tomorrow and I, I feel I have not a good day, I just suffer more. I, I just uh, say, uh, yeah, I have to go through. At least I can control that one. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of the times you get on the... Because I've had those days, you get on the bike, you're like, I don't have it today, and you, and you panic. Your, yes. mind, your mind goes very quick. Exactly. I don't feel good, I don't feel good. You have yeah. to... Regroup, man. Pull it back and go. Okay, relax. Off the time, it could relax. Go it push, push. Control the things and 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 yeah. You just have to. I think they're the they're the moments, and they're the races. And you've you'll, you've had them, I'm sure, where you um where you think everything's going bad and you end up having one of the greatest races. And they're the races you reflect on at that moment in the future. So you'll start going. Oh, I don't feel good, but I didn't feel good. That time in Zurich, or that time in in, uh, in France, I did that race. Just concentrate, stay strong, stay committed, and a lot of you know, it will come around. And and the races where I've had terrible races, I, I often look back at them and yeah. it, I quit. Yeah. It was me, you know, like I I just said ah, I can't do this, and I walk and I quit and I stop and 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 I'm angry at myself after the race. Yeah. And so I say to myself in the race. Hey man, this is it's now. This is the moment, and uh, you have yeah. complete control. And just regroup, regroup, calm, relax, and get control, and then start again. Reset. It's like a reset button. And, uh, yeah, but yeah, I had that in uh, Ironman Hawaii 2008. Yeah. When I wanted to quit after 120k on the bike. Uh, because everybody was uh, reeling me in again and yep. then they disappeared and then uh, after 170k I start feeling better but uh, during that 30k I wanted to quit and then I said well just keep going yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah like you had a great race and then I I, walk, I ran fourth place and it was my biggest uh, best race and that's and they're, the, they're the races you should draw on when you're having you go hey these are the events you start to think you know what I've had a you know, I, it happened in Kona. I had my best race, and I didn't feel great from the start. But, you know, I had, a, I had such a bad patch, and yet I still had my greatest ever race. So I always think, you know, a lot of the time you think your best races are because you feel good from start to finish. And you that's, had that as well now in 2000, like last year, you felt sometimes weaker? Yeah, lots of times. But I think yeah. my, my best race ever in Hawaii, outside of last year, before last year was my best race ever. The, but it was the year before. Fourth I, place. Fourth place. Yeah. I, didn't have the, I didn't have the first, and I didn't have a lot of the time you... you you always take the result as being, so it's, you know, and yeah, it's not always the way. No, you take the result out of the equation. People look only at that, totally. that wins or totally. and not at, 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 at performances. Totally. And with yourself, you shouldn't do that. And for myself, honestly, my 2009 race in Hawaii is one of my best ever. I was gone, like absolutely gone. And Ronnie. you came short only four, four minutes. minutes. Gone. And, win, yeah. and, and I had a, my worst ever swim. I rode the bike. So like with the guys that I, I was like and, and the whole time I'm frustrated because I want to be where I normally am 
like regroup, calm down, and I'm so happy with myself that I was able to pull myself together so many times in that so race. So the hardest race. Yeah, so. and then you went past everyone. I fell apart in the marathon. I regrouped again, and you take okay, I got fourth, but I take more from that race as an athlete, and I think that race set me up to win in 2010 because I went, you know what? If I can endure that, I'm a mature athlete now. I, I can suffer. I can regroup, I can come back, and I can do it again many, multiple yeah, times in a race. That's and what gave you the confidence. Gave you the confidence. And uh, so confidence is something you control. So you should always remember that. And remember, I always say to people, if you, everyone has those fears, if you can create doubt, which you have done here in Switzerland, that's the thing. People don't, are scared to race you here because that, they're fearful of you. You've created a fear in them. And you can create that in other athletes for, for many things. And, uh, you know, it's just common nature for people to to set themselves up for comfort. Like they're like, oh, I don't want to go, Ronnie's unbeatable, so I'll take second, you know? And, and, and the you... thing is, if I race tomorrow, I already, I, I, the one is already, I have to do it. Uh, what, uh, what happens, I don't know if I'm back in the swim, my, my mindset is already, I need to win. There is no other solution. So maybe I'm just doing what I have to and the other guys do it as well. So yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, you... So I, sometimes I want to go as quick as possible to the front. But you have to be careful and not to overdo it because it's a long race. But it's hard when you know I want to be in the first place, but you're three minutes back. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you cannot just uh, say, okay, I go 10k fast and then I, I'm in the front. Yeah, you yeah. You need yeah. some patience. Patience, man. It's an eight hour day, you know, and, and I got some simple advice from a friend last year before Kona. And, and this guy's never raced Hawaii. And he said to me, Chris, the race finishes at the pier. Remember that. It finishes at the pier. It doesn't finish off the bike. It doesn't finish at the, at, out of the energy lab. It finishes at the pier. So you race that race and you focus until you cr get back to that pier. And you hear it many times when you're a kid. Run across the finish line. But as I say, Ironman racing, don't ever... Always that's the hardest thing. That's the thing. Remember, it's the finish line's back here. It's first back to here. So you need never panic. You always stay in control. You're and, right. And uh, and when you have that relaxation, I think last year my race was so good there because I was so relaxed. I was so astute with my let let Raylo catch me. I don't care. Yeah. I just got to be back to the pier before him. I can out sprint this guy. You know, you you make decisions more rationally as opposed to panic when your mind is fast. Oh, I'm behind. I'm behind. I've got to catch up, man, he yeah. runs good. You know, you start making irrational decisions. You need to trust, yeah. trust your power, man. Trust it, yeah. You know, trust yeah, no, what you have. Normally when a guy catches you, the guy who catches you wins, but yeah, yeah, you, you kind of uh, let it happen. Yeah, well. but you, you just, yeah, you, I think, it's a, you always remember, it's the only thing you control is, is what happens. Everything else in life, you really don't have much control over things. To, but when you're in that moment in a race and you're hurting, you have two simple choices. Slow down or keep pushing. It's pretty basic when you, when you break it down. Like, that's it. And, and, and if, you are decided, if, if you make a rational decision and go, okay, this is too quick. You know, it's, I know it's too quick. Yeah. I'm going to back off. Then you live with that decision. You go, you know what? It's the right one. Don't second guess yourself. And people... When you start second guessing yourself, it's because you're panicked. You know. Panicked, yeah. Yeah. So they never second guess the decisions. You go, okay, too quick, and that's I think with Rayla, when everyone said he caught me, I never second guessed my decision to let him catch me. It was too fast for me. I was running too quick, and I would not have got out of the energy lab if I ran that quick. Yeah. So I said, you know what? I've got two minutes. Relax, relax, breathe, rest, and then we go again. And he's a human being. He's like. A, all these guys are humans, they're gonna to have to fatigue as well. They, they, that's for sure. They, yeah. They're gonna get tired, it's an Iron Man. So, and it worked in my favor. And that's, uh, you never second guess yourself, man. You're like, I think success, when you look at the great athletes, and especially the ones who win Kona, Alexander's, uh, or anyone who wins any Iron Man, they, they make a choice, like you winning here, you attack on the bike, or you do what you do, and you don't think, oh, you never second guess. And, and, and the guys who second guess tend to come second, third, fourth. Guys who commit and make and say, you know what, this is my run for the title, this is it, then they tend to run away with it because it feeds itself, it feeds its own confidence, you know, you're, oh man, I'm on. And I know that feeling. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's a self self fulfilling prophecy, really. It feeds, yeah, feeds, exactly. feeds. That's why I wanted to say before people have like here, everybody thinks Ronnie has to win, so it's a self. Yeah, yeah. It's a prophecy, like who? Yeah. yeah. So. And people come here, man. I can't like I would come here intimidated. Yeah. You don't come here and race you here because you you live down the road, and and that also my no. No question, it adds a, a, an element of pressure to you because it's your home. It's your home race. But that's but what I like. Exactly. It's positive pressure. Exactly, man. Like yeah. a, you don't come here and race you here, and I don't. I, I don't care who you bring here. I wouldn't want to take you on here. It's it's just normal, you know. Like it's, I, and and people have those events around the world. It's like Marino von Acker in Austria. You don't. <laughs> You'd be game to go there and take But him on. I just said in a recent interview that I rather have a not my, like a fourth place here in the top uh, three in, in Kona because I won four times already. Yeah, here. yeah. Uh, if I win ten times here, but in Kona I never uh, succeed. For me, uh, my uh, in in a. Uh, I always want to get better, so here I already won four times. I can yeah, yeah. only do five, okay, but that's not a step up for me. I want to yeah, yeah. improve my my race also in in Kona, and yeah. But, but yeah. For sure, at the mo tomorrow is the most important day. But but then also I see it a little in a, in another perspective to yeah in my sportive career to step up. Yeah, well, you're young enough, and the thing I, I think as you these races have a lot of pressure, not. And you and you don't feel it, but when you when you start doing a lot of Ironmans, a lot of races, it becomes a level of expectation you put on yourself, and a level of expectation other people have of you. And that pressure can wear on you over a season. And when you when you put, and I see a lot of guys, they do a lot of these big races in a year, and by Kona they're fried. They're fried. You know, and and it, it mightn't be the physical side; it's just the anguish. And, and I think more than any nation on the earth, Germany has that with their athletes racing German events. They expect so much. And I read that with the German guys by applying more pressure coming into Kona. They handle and, it, and they can't right? handle it. And, and Kona for you is going to be, you know, I think you come out of here, you're in a good place. It's just a matter of getting your preparation right. You're physically capable of doing it. You've shown that and understanding what you're capable of doing there. You've got many years to perform there. But I know the feeling of, hey, I want it now. Yeah. And, uh, and there's no reason why it can't be now. And uh, you just need to put those things in place. And I would want nothing more than to see you in Kona. I'd be... It's I'd nice. be happy, man. I'd be really happy.